Cantos 11 and 12 of Srimad Bhagavatam Is it all right to quote from them since Srila Prabhupada did not translate them personally? I, I when I was reading the book uh, when I read the 11 canto it was very difficult to understand in fact when I read it I didn't understand it all but I read it because I just wanted to know what the 11 12 canto is about then <clears throat> uh, I started reading only the translation i didn't read the purport then by reading the translation of course i think it's mercy of prabhupada otherwise i i don't think so i can understand it i read one time two time i just stop reading it then as i started you know reading bhagavad gita more and more then this connection how the verses connect up it became very clear I think it's Prabhupada's mercy, that's all I can say. I could really understand and connect all these verses, you know. Initially it was like, you know, very, I don't, I don't want to read it again. But then by Prabhupada's mercy, then it became very clear to me, oh, here and there. I think you all know, so many verses I showed you, know, the relevance of, you see this point, this point is explained here. Then after Lord Sri Krishna created misunderstanding between family members just to diminish the burden of the world. Simply by his glance he annihilated the demonic kings on the battlefield of Kuchetra and declared victory for Arjuna. Remember, it's now a point. He declared victory for... Finally, he instructed Uddhava about the transcendental life and devotion and returned to his abode in his original form. You mean to say that we should not read the 11 and 12 Kanto? I mean, you see this verse. Finally, he instructed Buddha about transcendental life and devotion. And then he returned to his abode. Because he understood that Buddha is capable of giving this knowledge. You understand my point? And you cannot try to think that you know better. Spiritual life means spiritual master. Without his mercy, I mean, I'm telling you point blank. I, I'm not a Sanskrit scholar. <laughs> I'm born outside India. I mean, I have nothing. I have no qualification at all. I don't claim that I still have any qualification. But whatever I can speak, it is only coming by the mercy of Prabhupada. That's all. And it is confirmed in that verse. Yashya Devi Para Bhakti Yata Devi Tata. Only by the mercy of the spiritual master, it becomes revealed. Otherwise, I'm... It's not possible to understand. Eleven Kanto is, it's a very difficult subject matter. I'm sure you read now, you'll see. Yeah? Yes or no? But you see how the verses are all very relevant. Correct? And I'm sure the way we are explaining, it is making you also understand. Yes? Yes or no? And you know fear. Oh, Eleven Kanto, I just know. It's so relevant. So many things are in the Bhagavad Gita. More there also. I will give you one example. And this verse. We always quote this verse. In this verse, you see this verse. We are quoting this verse. Mamaya so jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana manaha sastrindriyani prakriti sthana karshati The living energies in this conditioned world are my eternal fragmental parts. Due to conditioned life, they are struggling very hard with the six senses, which include the mind. Yes? Finish. Right? One thing, we are part and parcel of Krishna. Second thing is that we are, uh, we have a mind and we have senses. And next thing is we are struggling, <laughs> suffering. Yes? Yes or no? Okay. I am going to show you another verse in the 11th canto. And this verse, Ekasaiva mama amsasya, mama amsasya, jivasaiva maha mate, bandosya vityaya anadhi, vityaya cha tatei taraha. Now what the difference between this? Mama amsa, also the same, they are all part and parcel also. Okay, now see this. O intelligent Uddhava, 
The living entity is called Jiva, is part and parcel of me. Yes? Mamayansho Jiva Loge Jiva Bhutas. Yes? Huh? And, but due to ignorance, there has been suffering in the material bondage since time immemorial. Yes? Manaha Sastrendi Pakutthana Koshiti. Yes? Correct? Now, one extra line Krishna is using here. By knowledge, however, he can be liberated. That means Krishna is giving the solution, is it not? So don't read the 11th canto. Don't do that. What? what? <laughs> Is it wrong to read the 11th and 12th cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam? Yeah, Krishna is by knowledge you can liberate. They say they go and they have. Who's who to believe? Krishna to believe or believe these rascals? Who? Yeah, it's nonsense. You understand? Because you are a fool. So a fool, what? He will not want to get involved. Understand? So you must go to the person who is a realized soul. A realized soul can enlighten you. Om Ajnana Timidandasya Jnanam Jnana Salakaya Chapsodam Militam Yena Tasme Shri Guru Yena Yes, an enlightened soul can enlighten you. But you go to a fool, what he can learn? You only become a fool. But these translations were done by Hridayananda Das Goswami and not Srila Prabhupada. Translation, Prabhupada said, that if the translation is all right, purport we don't read, but translation is all right. We are reading one now, translation of purport. Anyway, it is up to them. If you want to remain a fool and cover your eyes and see no sun, that's your business. Yes. Huh? But if you want to learn, then you have to learn everything. You cannot just say, no, 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 I only learn this thing. Can I? That's all it is. Nonsense. You understand? So I, I, we are disputing all these things because knowledge is important. That's now I showed you the word. He gave specifically this knowledge to who? He conquered it and gave the kingdom to Arjuna. Correct? Arjuna also is spoke Bhagavad Gita. But why did he say I also gave knowledge to Arjuna? Did he say that? No. Specifically he said I gave knowledge to who? Who? In that verse, 9, 24, 67, yes, if you read, then you will not understand, you will understand this, yes, correct, yes or no, you are not reading, that's the problem, because you are not reading, then you will not understand, actually even you read, but if you read with this offensive mentality, then you cannot understand, you understand, if you read, uh, without the understanding of the opinion of the spiritual master, then you cannot also understand. You follow? Spiritual life is not a concoction that you can concoct. You cannot bring your material ideas into the spiritual movement. Then, finish. Srila Prabhupada never translated the Ramayana and Mahabharat. Uh, Ramayana is there in the ninth canto. I mean, Prabhupada, if you, if you don't read the Mahabharata, how you know the story fully? How you know the story fully if you don't read? Prabhupada didn't translate, but he didn't say don't read. Did he say like that? Yes. Prabhupada also never translate all the material books that you have gone to school to learn. Why did you go and read that? Why? You shouldn't have read that also? Yeah, you shouldn't. Why you read the news? It's not translated by Prabhupada. Nothing. Don't read anything. Close your eyes. That's all. This intelligence. And I use it until little. What? That's all. You should read the unchanged books and sit in the temple and do nothing else. Yeah? Yes? Yes. And you are making more devotees, you have more programs. Yes? Huh? Is it not? Who is who is doing the work? They or us? Oh, anybody can do this. Yeah, anybody can do. Why don't you do? They are driving taxi. Yes, taxi driving anybody can do. But speaking on the realized platform that requires special mercy from the spiritual master, and you have to follow. Yes. 
Krishna, Hare Krishna. 